So I've got a seeding job to do today. Some alfalfa orchard grass. It's on the other side of Jamestown. It is at Shannon Fords. Uh, we've done the hay over there before. This is the acreage that uh, her and her husband purchased. And this is how I get there. I've done this before. So uh, that grain drill is 14 foot wide. I'd rather haul it than uh, pull it down the road. It's just a little bit safer. The tractor fits on the back just fine. It fit better when I had the skinnier tires on the front. Found that out just a minute ago. But it's on there. If it fits, it ships. And also going to pull, I don't know if you can see it, the collar packer over there. Yeah. Um, on that wagon. Uh, that will be how we finish up after we seed. Uh, to pack it in the ground and all that and to smooth it out. We've had like a light mist all morning, so I haven't gotten in a hurry to do this. Um, I'm going to go home and get something to eat right now. Um, oh, rough night. Um, about 3, 3.30 this morning. Uh, dogs are barking. Looked out back, seen eyeballs. I thought it was coyotes. Um, no, it was the cattle. <laughs> they were in my back pasture. Problem is the gate was wide open, but uh, they all stayed in there. At least they were in there then. You could tell where they had been out, uh, thanks to the little deposits they had left. But uh, they're all back in. Fence has been fixed twice since then. Um, got everything fixed up nearby where I thought they needed to be last night. Now we still had one of the red cows and the donkeys were over on the horse's side. So. Tried to run him through the barn here. Nah, that wasn't gonna work. Big red cow did not want to come through that door. How you doing, Arrow? And uh, yeah, so I take the fence back down, bring her around. That's how it worked. Okay, so we're here at Shannon Fords, and uh, oh, there's some seed on the ground. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Done this much so far. Um, I thought it was six or seven acres. It has now turned into ten acres on the other side of the creek over there we got to do. It's trying to spit rain. Got my hood on, as you can see, because I feel damp. I feel nasty. Um, it's just barely sticking to the tires. If it gets much worse than that, we will have to quit. Um, it's going on pretty good. We got alfalfa seed, small box in the small box. And yeah, I'm in a hurry. That's right, I am. Almost didn't get the camera out because it's trying to spit rain. There is our orchard grass seed. Uh, and then when I got over here and found out the acreage and uh, seen what seed they had, it's just barely enough to do it. So I'm trying to gauge it out. I got my settings set on the orchard grass. I'm afraid I'm going to run out of the orchard grass, but I got it set on my lowest setting that I can go. And uh, alfalfa seed, I just cranked it up a little bit because I've only put one back in there and we've got three. And I've been over this much already, so um, so far so good. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. Side wheels are called marking wheels that's how I know well I mean obviously you can see in the dirt where I've been but you want to overlap and this field is a triangle which is not my favorite not gonna be fun to make hay off of it no but anyway you see that mark right there I overlap my wheel about the tire width so that that wheel mark gets planted Otherwise, uh, once it starts growing, you'll see on the field where you didn't get it. So you have to overlap that. 
which it, you have to hang the front tire there off of that about two and a half foot something like that auto steer would be great oh there's some horse manure they've been fertilized with um yeah that's about how you have to do it this field had weeds in it this summer about i'd say eight foot tall and i'm not kidding uh they disked it up let them rot for a little bit and decay came back ran over it again and uh, this is it. It smoothed out pretty good, actually. I would have gotten it a little smoother, like that right there. We'll feel that when we're making hay. Um, I would have got a little smoother. And then right here, he didn't cut it up as well. I don't know why, but that's what it is. But um, yeah, so we're getting after it. Morning, everyone. So this is what's going on today. Got the spreader loaded. This is actually my second load. There's my pile of lime. There's the manure. I'm starting to get back into the old stuff there. It's got to turn colors, as you, you might be able to see the different colors of it there. Uh, when it turns to grayish black or whatever, that's the good stuff. I'm starting to get into it. This stuff up front here is some fresh stuff, staying out of it. Sometimes you gotta dig through it to get to the old stuff. That's the lime I had dumped uh, last week. And I've got it mixed in here with my manure. We're heading to the field. I don't want to get too heavy. Plus, if you get too much weight on there, these chains that drive the floor in there, they won't take that. They'll break. So, uh, um, my first load, I didn't have quite enough to make a full round. So, I put a little bit more on this time. And I'd say I'm probably mixing it probably a 30% uh, of the lime and probably 70% manure. So uh, it's gonna work out pretty good. And uh, it's good for the soil, raises your pH level. This is what we do to try to um, combat the um, foxtail. So we're gonna get in the tractor. The field is just right over there. It's a 26 acres of Mark Kirby's. And uh, so it's just down the road and up, not very far. We have another field down here we're gonna put some on too that I just remembered. And also in this area, we just picked up um, I think it was like 17 acres. Uh, a guy called me the other day and it's right beside my other hay fields. So that's gonna work out good. Um, life is good. That makes us 30 different places we do hay now. 30 different landowners. I added it up the other day. Also our bale total for the year, 31,370 square bales. That's straw and some custom baling. So, uh, and I've still got a lot of hay at the farm to sell. Get in the tractor. Let's get going. So here we are at the field. That didn't take long. Gonna kick her on here in a minute. Get up to RPM. We cruise right along when I'm spreading this stuff. So uh, make sure the RPM's down to almost nothing when I kick it on. Kick up the RPM here. About 480, about seven something mile per hour is where I was at on the last load seem to work out pretty good. There's 470. It's close enough. As you can see, you see the grayness in it. That's the lime coming out with it. So we're doing good here. Sorry if the window's a little dirty. A little steam coming out with it, yeah. That's a good thing too. Uh, it's not just the dust from the lime. There's there's some heat in this manure. That's good. It's gonna rain later this afternoon, evening. It's gonna put this stuff right in the ground for us. So that's good. And I like to do it right before rain. Um, that way it gets into the ground right away. It doesn't blow away, whatever. Some of um, these low areas on the ditches where I know water runs down through there. Man, it's a pretty good bump right there. Um, I won't put it in there um, just because I know if water, if it does rain heavy, water just wash it away and we're just, we're wasting money, we're wasting material, especially with the lime. It's, uh, this year is $10.50 a ton. That's not bad. It actually went down 50 cents, but yet trucking to get it delivered went up a dollar and a half, I believe it was. It is what it is. Got to deal with that. So uh, we're gonna get some spreading done. I'm guessing there's gonna be about 20 loads or so I'm gonna put on this field. And, uh, or until we get rained out. So 
That's what we're doing. We'll see ya. Ow. Hey, how you doing? Camera's on. Hey, neat uh, change of events. Because I've got all this hay to sell, when I was at Dancing Horse Farm there the other day, I uh, had a nice lady look at my hay. She said she really liked that hay. I gave her a business card. Um, she said she would get back to me. I didn't get her name, but she's got all my information. Hey, the camera's right here, dude. And anyway, she's got all my information. And uh, she asked me if I was on Facebook on uh, the Cincinnati area group, uh, Cincinnati Equestrian World or World Equestrian, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, uh, I joined up, got permission to join. And so I didn't see a classified section and some of those things are funny about putting ads on there for selling stuff. Uh, but uh, I did, I put an ad on there this morning and it has been blowing up. So right now I've got somebody that their hay guy has backed out on them. Uh, he used to sell hay, I guess, to the whole barn. Uh, he has backed out for whatever reason, who knows, maybe we'll find out. And she has half a bale to feed six horses for this evening. That's not good. So because I'm doing the fertilizing and everything like that and don't think I have enough time to get the gooseneck loaded and uh, get down to her before the rain this afternoon and get my fertilizing done, I'm going to have Dad take my truck because his is still down. And I'm going to put five bales on it and take it to them. And hopefully uh, we're picking up a customer. Uh, she just asked me in a PM message if I could uh, be the uh, barn hay guy. Yes, yes, yes I can. It's just um, between Bowersville and Wilmington and we're on it. So, um, yeah, dad's going to go there uh, with five bales and hope he does a good job of making a good impression. <laughs> no, he will. Good morning. Oh, message. Hey, uh, it's Saturday morning. I did some fertilizing over here the other day. Got rained out. Uh, we're headed back over there this morning. At least I am. Uh, tractor is on the gooseneck. You can see it. Um, and at least the loader. I'll wake up here in a little bit. Um, actually, it's like 10 o'clock. I should be awake by now. Sure feels like winter this morning. I think it's in 30s overnight. Somebody said they seen snowflakes. I didn't see them, but there's a video of it on Facebook, so it must be true. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head over here and uh, get the tractor started and get them warmed up. The new Holland and the spreader is already over here from when I was here two days ago. And um, after that, probably going to work in the addition, get some last little bit of things figured, out, uh, figured, uh, figured in. Yeah, no, uh, done. And uh, the plumber's in there right now hooking up uh, the plumbing under the sinks and going to put the toilet in. Everything on the plumbing side should be done today. Uh, heat pump needs to be put outside the house on Monday. After that, I'm hoping for a final inspection. Uh, I've been working my butt off out there really late at nights and uh, getting uh, that kind of stuff done. So uh, we have moved a bunch of uh, my mother-in-law's stuff and uh, it is in the addition and it is in our house and it is everywhere we can put it. So I uh, can't wait to get her moved in and uh, get her situated and I know she can't wait either and it's it's actually turning out pretty nice. The heat is on in there and everything like I said just the plumbing is getting finished today as far as I know and the heat pump being put outside on Monday and hopefully it's done. Uh, maybe get you some video of that here after a bit, but uh, we're gonna get over here and get the tractors warmed up and get to spread a little manure. My daughter is coming out to see me today, so that's a pretty big deal. She hasn't been to the house in a while and uh, may put her to work or may just visit. We'll see, doesn't matter to me. Uh, just be nice to see her. Be nice for her to get back out here. We had a baby calf Thursday morning. Miss Clover had her baby. She's about a week late, but um, it's done and uh, she, she had it, it's going good. Uh, it's a real little thing though. So uh, we are trying to take care of it and having to bottle feed it um, to, to get the nutrients that she needs because she hasn't nursed yet. And I just seen her a little bit ago, she's up on her own 
and she was under her mama. So I'll just let that happen naturally because uh, mama didn't like me in there. Miss Clover did not like me in there uh, to try and um, help out with the whole nursing thing. So uh, she did not like that. But uh, as I walked through a little bit ago, uh, little Charlie, we're going to call her, uh, is underneath her and trying to find the nipple. So um, hopefully that works because that's all natural thing. That's how she's going to get her best nutrients and that's how she's gonna do well. If not, we'll have to keep uh, feeding her by the bottle, mixing it up, but we can do that. And, um, but she's getting better. I was really worried. I was really close to calling a veterinarian uh, yesterday, but it didn't, so. But she's gonna get, uh, she's gonna be fine. She's doing better. And uh, hopefully my words will start making sense here soon. And sorry it's been a little bit since I've done any recording, just not much going on. Um, and hopefully get some hay moved this week. I got a bunch of orders to take care of. So I'll try and keep I'll try and keep it interesting, right?